thought they deported you. Why do you care? Oh, I don't. Except that they paid me some money. That must feel good. What a proud patriot you are. So, when are they kicking you out? They can't kick me out, stupid man. Why not? My family has been here 200 years. I'm more American than you. Not that there's anything to boast about. Well, I'm sorry. Well, at least you got paid. You know, don't get all serious, okay? Anybody can make a mistake. Perhaps now you want to kill me. Yeah, maybe, old man. Maybe not. You and your civil border patrol friends. You're all the same. Ignorant fools trying to protect something that's not even there. They're not my friends. I spend enough time with them. Yeah, I spend a lot of time with fucking people I don't like, all right? It's one of my favorite hobbies. Civil border patrol, man. Fuck you! You wanna fucking die? You don't scare me. You owe my family a great debt. What? Our land is no longer safe. That's not my fault. You're so concerned. Clean it up for me. Your choice. And no, I will not give you one cent. <laughs> Last I heard, your civil border patrol friends were pulling some people east of here. on there.
Le Les, that military hardware we needed. It's parked out back of Trevor's office. All right, we might be ready to move on this thing. Meet me up in the lab. It's, it's not inappropriate! It's... It's another one of your fucking disasters! That's what it is! It, first you take a hostage, against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her? Are you nuts? She's... She's a 60-year-old housewife! Ah, she's 57! And she thinks that I'm mature! Yeah, well, let me tell you something! 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss ah. would make anyone insane! You're not making my situation any easier! Oh, there's a surprise! I knew it would become about you! I miss my family! Oh, you're full of shit! All you ever did was ignore them, and now that they're gone, you miss them! Fucking incredible! I'll tell you what's incredible! Fucking incredible! Hey! You mother... Hey! What? Enough! You got me out here! You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit! If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could've stayed my ass in Los Santos! Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palato Bay, and we're going to do this thing. Any questions? Comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. That crazy motherfucker was with us now. He would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in, they grab the tape, <laughs> they rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Is that a uh, work for everyone? Great, let's go. <laughs> Come on, we got a score to take. You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pool. Guess it's the same kind of shit we're doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man.
wait this long guy? Fucking shoot him. Not if I get to him first. Yeah. Stay back! We got hostages! Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here. Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it.
Sanchez, our very own corrupt G-Man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, illegal. Very amusing. Yeah, if you expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay, here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh yeah, that's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monsters. I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once Operation Save the Worlds ago. Get your crew together, okay? Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you, homie. Hey. Fuck. up. Serious? Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete. Living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat. And now, you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand, you understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor, the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? THE monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Oh, hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, baby! Oh. Yeah! Oh. This better be <laughs> fucking good! Oh. Oh. Jesus! Oh. Man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before.